guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you have not, welcome. In honor of the rebirth. Rebirth? Is it called rebirth? What is it called? Revival, that's the word. In honor of the revival of the Gilmore Girl series coming to Netflix this Friday, today I'm bringing you the Gilmore Girls book tag. This book tag was created by Pox and Paperbacks and I will leave the link to her original video in the description box. I don't know about you, but I was a big Gilmore Girls fan. I watched Gilmore Girls when I was in high school to when I was a young adult, I guess you could say. The funny thing, going back as I've been rewatching them these past months, getting ready for the release of the series, is when I first watched them, I was around Rory's age. When I watch them now, I'm Lorelai's age. Yikes. Lorelai Gilmore, a character with a witty or sarcastic personality. For this one, oddly enough, I couldn't think of a female character. I'm sure there are plenty. I just couldn't think of one. So for this one, I'm going with Matthew from The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Matthew is a character who has a mental illness and who's also dealing with his brother. But the way that he phrases his grief or anything really that he talks about is hysterical. He's so sarcastic and he has such a rich, lovable, humorous personality that he's my choice for a comparison to Lorelai Gilmore. Rory Gilmore, your favorite classic. Rory reads a lot of classics. For this one, I'm going with Little Women. I don't read a lot of classics, as you may have heard in my 2016 Reading Crunch video. I'm challenging myself to read more classics, but Little Women was probably the first classic that I read as a child, very young teenager, I don't really remember, and I, I thought it was great. So it's probably one of my favorites because it's one of the most memorable. Luke Danes, a book series you love but hate to admit it. Poor Luke. I always felt bad for him in the series. Hopefully when he comes back he's on the open up with Lorelai. For this one I'm going with Outlander. Now I feel less ashamed to admit this one because of the hype of the series, the TV show, that everybody loves. So it's not as bad, but before the TV show you know, it's kind of adult, let's say that. So I was a little, I wouldn't say ashamed, I'm not really ashamed to read anything that I read, but I was a little iffy about telling people that I actually really love this book. Lane Kim, a musical character. For this one, I am going with Tamlin from A Court of Thorns and Roses. As you may have heard from my review of A Court of Mist and Fury, I am not a big fan of Tamlin. But there's one scene in this book where he's playing with the band and I thought that scene was quite beautiful. I think it was one of the few moments that I actually really enjoyed Tamlin's character. So for my musical character, I'm going with Tamlin. Dean Forrester, your first book love. I really had to think on this one. I really did. But for this one, I am going with Peter Pan. Strange, right? When I was about 9 or 10, I read Peter Pan. And at the same time, for those of you who are my age, in the early 90s or late 80s, I don't remember when it was, there was also a Disney cartoon that was called The Adventures of Peter Pan, I think. And it didn't help my book crush because, you know, the cartoon character Peter Pan kind of influenced my view of the book character Peter Pan and just I don't know yeah, that was my first book crush. Suki St. James a book you devoured. It's really difficult for me not to keep pulling out the same books over and over and over again so I'm picking a different book but a book that I would say I devoured was Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty. This is a murder mystery. I love murder mysteries. What was even better about this one is that it was a murder mystery that took place among kindergarten moms and I have a kindergartner so I thought it was very amusing and interesting. I think I read the book in like a day or two. Jess Mariano, a book you loved that gets a lot of hate. For this one I'm going with Twilight. I didn't love love this book, like I wasn't thrilled about it. There were definitely things that I did not like about it but I did enjoy it, I'll probably more than most people and the book 
really does get a lot of hate. So there you have it. Miss Patty, a book that was ruined because it gets a lot of hype. I'm going with the Divergent series. <sighs> Sorry guys, this could have been really great, but there was just so much hype about it. And then the movies came out and I hated the movies too. I did read them. They were okay, they were good, but they could have been better had there not been so much hype around them. Emily Gilmore, an expensive book. Now, I don't usually buy a lot of expensive books because, you know, when you're an adult, you have bills to pay and a family to feed and children clothes to buy. You try to be as sparsome as possible with the money you spend on a book. So I don't really have any ridiculously expensive books. That being said, I went to the States recently and I was going shopping and my dad was buying me some books. Thank you daddy for buying me some books. But there was this one book that I thought was on sale because on the online website it said it was on sale. And I went to the cash register and instead of it being on sale for $16.99 I ended up paying $29.99. Actually my dad ended up paying $29.99. I didn't buy it. And I was really disappointed about that so the book that I'm going for for this one is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I am very excited to read this book, but if it were me, I would not have paid $29.99 for this book. Thank God for daddies. Nope, I didn't insist that he buy me the book. He decided to buy it for me. Anyway, I'm not a selfish child, usually. Paris Geller, an uptight character. For this one, I'm going with Margot from the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. Margot is the old sister and don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on Margot because she kept their family running but she was Miss Perfect. She put a lot of pressure on Laura Jean to live up to her expectations. And I think Emily Gilmore does that too. She loves the best way she knows how and that's what Margot did but she was kind of Miss Perfect in my opinion anyway. What do you think? And then we have two bonus questions. Richard Gilmore character's death that you just can't get over. I'm going with one of the characters from My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult. I won't tell you which character it is because it will ruin the story, but I didn't see it coming and I was heartbroken. Heartbroken. Logan Huntsberger, a character that went through a lot of development. I am not a Logan Huntsberger fan, let's just put that out there. But regardless, I'm going with Clara from the Unearthly Trilogy. She had a lot of growing up to do. She made some stupid choices, let me tell you. I haven't read the last book yet, but in the first two books, especially in the second one, she did a lot of growing. So that wraps up the Gilmore Girl book tag. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're a Gilmore Girl fan, let me know down below. Who's your favorite Rory love? Dean, Jess, or Logan? Personally, I'm a dress fan. So that's it for today, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. See you next time. Bye.